السلام عليكم So I am already set up for my three day desert tour and you can see my bike is ready with its gear and my car is packed with all the foods and the goods because Yoni and Avi will take uh, their bikes uh, with the trailer. We have set up that uh, four of us are going to ride on the highway and they will join us a bit later during the day. And it was raining for four days in a row now. So let's hope tomorrow morning it's going to be much better with the weather. So as you can see, unfortunately it's raining this morning, but uh, I have my uh, rain radar open and as you can see all the rain is along the coastline. So we are going to be riding the Dead Sea here and this area south. So all the desert area is now clear. So I guess I won't be filming along the way on the highway. My motorcycle is waiting out there all uh, set up. And I won't be filming because uh, I prefer to tuck away my GoPro. So we are in Arad. Arad is uh, already in the Negev Desert. You can see the landscape in the background. Uh, it was uh, quite nice on the highway. We are very, very lucky. It rained just a bit at the beginning and it was just windy and cold. But we survived, so it was a coffee break here. And it's off to the desert there. רגע, רגע! שמיר, שנייה, נו! רגע! And Shamir was on the floor. We are all ready to roll. Now it's... Uh, downwards. So Arad uh, sits... Uh, just uh, above uh, the Dead Sea and it's like the entry gate to the Negev Desert so we have a small uh, stretch of uh, asphalt here and then it's uh, off-road it's a little bit windy but uh, as you can see everything is clear Woo. Well, it's a huge responsibility to be in the lead planning the route. I did it uh, two years ago. I guess nothing changed, but uh, still, I have to take everything into consideration. It starts easy with a dirt road and then uh, should be a steep downhill. And it's off-road. That's it, off-road mode. I'm starting off uh, slow to warm up a little bit As you can see this is a, an unofficial Bedouin uh, settlement They live out here Actually Bedouins are uh, nomads I'll let them catch up with me. You can see the stream on the right here. When it's raining, it's uh, filled with water. But lucky enough, we have no rain. I didn't charge the battery of my uh, Argo Pro 
so no uh, extra footage we will rely on mine my helmet mount oh this is a highway wow look at this in the distance you can see the white smoke there this is uh, the Tsin Desert Tsin Plateau and we will be there uh, in two days hopefully It's off-road, I'm taking it slow, really uh, being responsible if it's too fast I'll stop. Just have to watch that everyone is okay behind me, yeah, and we are on track. Nothing to choose here. Wait up for them, wow. This is, this is why we are in the desert. Wow, wow. It goes right here along the ridge and this will take us all the way down to the Dead Sea. should be uh, a more tricky stretch and I think it's here This is uh, the place I was two years ago and I almost uh, broke my bike. Wait up for them. They're in the stretch where it's flat and I'll uh, walk backwards and see everyone is okay. Here's the Aluf. He's a star. He is a star. Wow. <laughs> All the roads for Yuval. Meule. Zeket achikashe ayom. Zeket achik. So. <laughs> Everyone made it. We didn't uh, be off our guard yet, but uh, this was a. Uh, very tricky part this uh, loose rock downhill which I must say is in better condition than it used to be I uh, fell here and uh, bent uh, my uh, engine guards or my side guards it was a nightmare now you can go only uh, downhill straight so it's no going back from here to home Where is everyone? This is uh, Yuval and Doron and Shamir. I'm using my engine as well, my rear brake, slowly. Just uh, there is a sharp right here. Just using my engine uh, first gear and I prefer the right side and I hope Yuval does the same I'll look over my shoulder if he's here yeah 
he takes it a uh, little bit more slowly this is okay although we're in a group So we are uh, all alone in the desert and uh, it's only 12 kilometers from our starting point in Arad and it's like uh, nowhere. This is another stream crossing. Wait out for them. Wow, this is fun. Uh. This is sheer fun. Now it would be a sharp left here, a shortcut here, but I'm not there. Uh, using any shortcuts if I didn't ride them. No, it just goes left here like this. So it's along uh, this road here. Ah, look, camels. But we're almost at the end of the first stretch. This is the road there, which goes also down to the Dead Sea. And we will enter uh, another stretch, which is called Nachal Cheymar. Cheymar stream which should be dry as well and we won't ride in it but we're right the, on the edge and we have some great view there of the Dead Sea so it's a small stretch on asphalt yes let's ride here most of this area here is used to carve uh, Phosphates. So this is the reason why this is half paved and uh, the stretch we had before as well. You can see trucks coming ahead of us. Signal my colleagues and it's off-road and everyone is behind me. So this is uh, the blue uh, trail marking. Everyone is warmed up, so more stones here to be aware of it of them This is also a dry riverbed This is a nice terrain which goes up and down. I'm so glad I picked up this route. It's like a, like a picnic for me. Wow. Look at this spot. Woo! Woo!
I have to be careful with my front uh, shock absorber not to bang it too much so it won't leak well I have to stop but we have a nice uh, spot coming up paused for a second to take a look at this stunning scenery now it's back to the track back on track so I'll take the lead Now it's better. Peeled off one layer, the thermic uh, shirt I had on. It was too warm for me. Ah, I think there is one treacherous part here. Let's see if I'm right or not. This was surprising. הכל טוב. היי, ככה זה כשלא נותנים גז, אה? אמרו לי גז איפשהו, לא? מה שעברתי? בסדר, בסדר, בסדר. מה קרה? מה זה? כואב? אתה בסדר? רגע, חכה, שנייה. What a rookie for. מה יהיה? מה יהיה? מה יהיה? אני לוחץ את הברקס? מה עם הרגלית שלי קלאץ' תקינה? Two falls in a row! What happened to me? The good part is that everything is uh, being recorded. So I'll go over the footage later and uh, see what went wrong. It's good I peeled off one layer.
גז, גז, גז! גז, לא לעצור, גז! Well, that's, uh, that's nice, being in a strong group. Now it's going to be bumpy a little bit here. Across uh, the valley here, down below is the Dead Sea, and across it is uh, Jordan. The Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. So I'm following you, Val. You can't uh, miss the turn. We're looking for a nice coffee spot. We were here uh, last year. So there should be a tree just in front of the main road. So uh, we're weaving off uh, the road, but uh, this is a really nice place here. There is shade and great view. Well, this is um, a great spot for uh, a coffee break. It's now uh, 2.15. So we were here last year. During the time I didn't uh, own a GoPro, so there's almost no documentation of our uh, road trip. And we will go back there where the main road is and go all the way down there to the Dead Sea. Except these two drops, <laughs> rookie drops I did, but uh, I need to set an example as uh, leading the group to explain them how to do it. One coffee break, one more, and uh, the fir first one doesn't count because it was in, uh, in Arad. So this one is the main road. <laughs> so it was one more coffee break uh, down uh, at Nachal Chalamish, which is dry now. And now it's a couple of minutes to the main road. Then we have a short section uh, on the paved road down to the Dead Sea area. And then it's a uh, storm.
Uh, there is this bumpy section here. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm always picking up uh, the most uh, difficult lane. Go straight and left. So wait up for them. I have to find a, a good spot we can head on. Oh, this is okay. Kaha. So we are back on the more main road down to the Dead Sea for a couple of minutes. Let's to enjoy the view. It's known that the Dead Sea is uh, the lowest uh, point uh, on Earth. I hope I'm not mistaken. Beware of camels near the road. Well, we saw a couple of camels with the uh, Bedouin up in the mountains. But now we are rolling uh, down. And in a second it will be already flat. So these are all uh, salt fields for uh, harvesting the salt here and the minerals in the Dead Sea. So we're off-roading again and uh, we should enter in a couple of minutes uh, storm stream I had to fuel up a little bit never uh, want to leave it uh, to the edge I had around uh, five more liters to go but uh, I didn't fuel up yet Sand, small rocks. So we have to go straight here. Last time I was here was two years ago. And I was very, very keen returning here. Just uh, watching that everyone is here. So we should enter the stream uh, in a minute or two. So we are entering a uh, storm stream and that's challenge number one. And that's going to be fun.
we're done with the storm stream which is nice great scenery so we have a plan we decided to uh, go up uh, to Mount Storm for a lookout but we decided to skip it because it's uh, already getting late Heading uh, east now to the Moshav uh, En Tamar and Eot Akikar, and this is a crossing of uh, Tin River, which, when it's uh, the rain, uh, when it's raining here, is very, very dangerous to cross this section here. So we have really good visibility today, and all you can see on the other side is Jordan, the Kingdom of Jordan. And the borderline crosses just here in the middle. So this is the easternmost part of Israel. Well, uh, this is uh, Israel and this is Jordan so just here is the border and I wouldn't try uh, entering here because uh, you would step on a, la on a landmine yeah this is the right track here I was confused for a second by the signs but uh, Wow, and it's a great hour as well. It's a little bit bumpy, but it's uh, bearable. Now all these palm trees here are being grown here for dates. And they belong to Neotakika, which is uh, behind us. We just passed through there. And also the dates, uh, date trees, the palm trees, look very healthy as well. Wow. So all this area we enter now is called Arava. goes from the left. So behind me is uh, the lane we came from, from Neotakikar, which is just north from here. And Yuval is waiting in line to say something. Yuval, what do you want to say for us? Are you a sharp a rider? Are you a sharp rider? It was a hell of a ride. A hell of a ride, and? And the leader was fantastic, and the route was... I'm blushing. Amazing. I'm blushing. Thank you very much. And if you want to, uh, to have some peace of mind, this is a great place to be. Look. Look where we are.
think uh, the afternoon hours are the best uh, hours for riding although the sun is uh, in my face and the dust of my friends is also in my face this is something a real surreal feeling Lila. So this is called uh, the Peace Route. It's a nice scenic uh, route and you can go uh, and drive it also with your uh, regular car. So we are riding now uh, in an area called Arava which stretches from the area of the Dead Sea until uh, you reach uh, Eilat and the Red Sea and uh, I can feel it's getting colder now as the sun is uh, setting so when we leave this area to the highway again I will uh, put back on uh, one of the layers until we reach uh, Tsofar Tsofar is a moshav also in the Arava and we will uh, stay there for the next two nights There's a trail going uh, through this nature reserve here on the right as well. A couple of hours ago when we left Pardes it was raining, it was winter, it was cold. It's unbelievable what a difference in climate areas when you travel in Israel. When you go to the desert, it is cold. It's colder than uh, usual as well. But this is a great season for traveling here in this area because it is very hot uh, during uh, summer. It's very dry, but it's unbearable during uh, the warm day hours. So uh, winter, December, January, February, March, up to April, and afterwards it's getting really, really warm. So the sun sets, and it's the end of day one of our desert tour. And I hope you liked uh, what you saw until now. And stay tuned for the next video of day two.